Okay, the next thing we're going to take off is our side panel. Now, my uh, screws here, like, like I said, I sprayed them overnight to let them soak. And now, uh, what I've got to do, my screws are full of paint. So I took a, I've got a real fine uh, flathead screwdriver, and I'm just going to knock that paint right out of there. So I can get a screwdriver in there and take them up. Okay. Now we're going to grab our flathead screwdriver and start taking these screws out. Sometimes when you got a screw stuck in there, uh, what you can do is just put your screwdriver in there and tap the top of it. Sometimes that will help loosen it up. There it goes. Now these screws on the side, uh, you can also spray some uh, uh, penetrating oil from the back side because these screws poke out. Now these screws also have a washer on there, so be careful not to lose those. Okay, there's our side. I'm going to put my screws back and then we'll spin it around and we'll do the other side. This side, uh, there's a little bit more to do on it. So the first thing you want to take out is uh, this is where the top of that nozzle sits in. Now on the back side, we've got a uh, 7 16 nut. And so I haven't sprayed these because what I'm hoping is, is these being froze in, uh, I can just put my, my ratchet on the back here and get it to loosen up. Yeah, there it goes. So then, on the top now, I'll have to use, because this vent goes up, I can't get a ratchet, I can't get a socket in on it, so I'll have to use a, uh, um, a wrench. And there is a washer on the back of this screw here, so. Let's see if we can get that top one loose. Okay, there's our vent. So I'm going to put my screws and my washer and my nut back on there and set it aside, and then we'll work on uh, we'll work on the. Uh, the other part here. Okay, before we jump and tackle the top part, we, I've got a brace down here uh, with two screws in it, and on the back of these screws are uh, square nuts. So I'm going to try and get those loosened up and out, and they're real small. Well, the uh, the nuts are starting to round off here, so. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try and take this coupler off, and then when I pull this top out, um, then maybe I'll be able to, to slide it up and out of the way, and then work on this later. Sometimes you can tighten it to loosen it. There we go. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is uh, you're going to try and take these nuts off the back, and these are 7 16 as well. Now, this is only going to remove the plate that goes around this piece. It's not actually going to remove the whole thing. Now if something gets stuck, what I do is I will put the nut back on it and then you can lightly tap on that nut. That way you won't ruin your threads or flare out the top. So there that come loose. There 
we go. Now the next thing I'm going to do is try and get this pipe off of here. Um, so I'm just going to grab my pipe wrench, see if I can get lucky and uh, get it loose. She ain't gonna go that way. Well, I'm still having trouble getting that pipe off over there. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I took this off of my little stand to spin it around. Um, I'm gonna lay it flat, try and get some leverage on it that way. See if I can bust it loose that way. Well, I thought it was coming, but it just snapped, so sometimes that's the way it goes. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these top rings off and uh, what you're going to need is uh, I think these are 7 16 again uh, nope they're a half so what you need is uh, a ratchet now there's two bolts that are holding these rings on okay and these side panels come up and they're they're welded over so there's also a bolt and a nut that kind of holds these internal workings together so for right now we're just going to get our half we're going to take these nuts, uh, bolts out, uh, to get these top rings off. Okay, and there's our top rings. Throw my nuts back in there and we'll do the other side. Well that's the end of our second part in our four part series on how to disassemble your Wayne 60. Now in our next video you're going to see how to remove the manifold, the computer, as well as some other internal parts. Now as you're working, if you don't have a copy of our catalog here, I highly recommend you drop us a line and get one. It's absolutely free, and as you start pulling your pump apart, you can see what parts you're going to need to replace, and you can circle them or you, know, you can just highlight them like I do. Uh, that way you're going to have an ongoing tab of the parts that you need, so when you put your order in, it's all there for you. I'll tell you, there's nothing worse than putting your pump back together and realizing that you're missing a part. The last thing, if you look in our catalog and the, you see that uh, there isn't a part in there that you need, don't panic. Just give us a call. There's a pretty good chance that we have that part and it's just not in the catalog yet. Uh, we're in the process of redoing our catalog and when it's done, you're going to see that we've gone from our old 120 page catalog to a 180 page catalog. That's how many more parts we have available. Also, while you're disassembling your pump, if you run into any snags, feel free to give us a call at 402-592-1710. You can drop us an email at diane at gaspumpheaven.com. Also, there's another easy way to reach us, and it's on our Facebook page, which is at facebook.com slash gaspumpheaven. And there's no spaces in between there. You can also link to our Facebook from our website, which is at gaspumpheaven.com. Now when you get to your Facebook page, make sure that you like us. Then when you're on our page, go to where it says write something, type out your question. And we're going to get back to you as quick as we can. Well that's it for today guys, thanks for watching.